Welcome to Just Rap Reaction. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so that each time I post a new video, you might be notified. And for those who have already subscribed to my channel, welcome back. Today we are going to be looking at the answers of accounts paper 2 of 2016. We are going to be looking at question 1a. If you want to check out the other videos for this same past paper, make sure you check the description section of this video. Also remember to support us through our services that we provide. We sell some past papers with answers. We provide online tuitions. We sell some books. We sell some food topics videos. And we provide video and photo shootings. So question 1A reads. Mention the source documents used to write up the following subsidiary books. Roman number 1, sales day book. Loma numero 2, Returns Inwards Book. Loma numero 3, Purchases Day Book. Loma numero 4, Returns Outwards Day Book. So, uh, for each transaction, you know that we're going to have two participants. We're going to have the seller and the buyer. And if goods have been sold to the buyer on credit so if the seller here sells the goods on credit sells the goods on credit to the buyer the seller is going to prepare a document so the seller is going to prepare a document and that document is going to show the details of the goods and the prices of those codes so that that document that is going to be prepared by the seller is going to show the details of the goods and the prices of those goods that have been sold to the buyer that means that the document is sent from the seller to the buyer so the document goes from the seller to the buyer and that document shows the details of the goods and the prices of those goods and that only happens when goods have been sold on credit by the seller to the buyer and that document is referred to as the invoice the document is referred to as the invoice and you must know that this same invoice to the seller to the seller it will be called the sales invoice to be called the sales invoice and to the buyer it will be called the purchases invoice so these uh, two documents are the source documents for the uh, sales deal book and the purchases deal book and when goods have reached the buyer, some of the goods may be damaged. You must know that some of the goods may be damaged. And if the buyer discovers that some of the goods that we are sold to him we are damaged, the buyer might want to retain the goods to the seller. And when that happens, the buyer is going to prepare a document referred to as the debit note so the debit note is going to show the details of the amount uh, it's going to show the details of the goods and it's going to show the reason why they are being returned to the seller so we're going to have the debit note and when the seller receives the documents, when the seller receives the document, the seller is going to prepare a confirmation document showing the amount of goods that showing the amount of goods that is going to be accepted to be returned to the business. That means that showing the amount of goods that are going to be retained 
to the seller. So a confirmation document referred to as the credit note is going to be prepared by the seller. It's going to and it's going to be sent to the buyer. And as you can see here, the source document for the uh, retains outwards their book, we're going to have the debit note and the source document for the returns inwards their book, we're going to have the credit note. So uh, from our question, so the source document for the sales day book, here we're going to have uh, the sales invoice. Then the source document of the returns inwards book, we are going to have the credit note. The source document of the purchases day book, we are going to have the purchases invoice. And the source document of the returns outwards day book, that's the debit not so i i hope you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe i'll meet you next time peace